Chag Zameach and Shana Tova. Erev Rosh Hashanah, after blowing the shofar for the entire month of Elul, we don't blow the shofar. A number of reasons are given for this practice. One of them is Kedei Le'arbev et satan in order to confuse the Satan. What exactly does that mean? I want to share with you one suggestion. The Gemara tells us that the Satan is none other than the Yetzar Hara, our own evil inclination. If we understand the Satan this way, what could Kedela Arbeveta Satan mean? To confuse ourselves? Perhaps the answer is yes, indeed. We're supposed to take ourselves by surprise. One of the things that seems to me to impede tshuva, to impede self-improvement, is inertia, is maintaining our, cell, our old habits, our old selves, and being unable to get out of those old habits and that inertia. We've just set a pattern of blowing the shofar for 29 days. Comes the halakha, the minhag of not blowing the shofar of Rosh Hashanah and tells us, do something different, break the pattern. And there are many other examples like this of things that we do around this time of year that are kedela or bevita satan, to take ourselves by surprise, to do something unexpected. And perhaps that's a deep message about what it takes to do tshuva, to think of something completely different, to imagine new patterns of our life. May we be blessed to achieve improvement, self-improvement, and surprising ourselves with new visions of who we can be in the new year. Shabbat Shalom, Chag Sameach, and Shana Tova Mituka.